real quick guys before we start the vlog you already know And that'll be it. Awesome, once you get the window. Thanks. What's up guys? My name is Adrian with R35 Life. Today's not going to be a very exciting day because we're actually going to go over everything that this car has costed me in the last 12 months. Maintenance, insurance, and modifications. I'm not gonna go over the price of the car because it's a little bit relative, right? Depending on whether you buy an older one or a newer one at drastically different prices. Uh, so let's get started. I've never actually added this up before. I've kind of just itemized the list prior to making this. Um, so I'm not very excited to see what the total is going to be. So, okay guys. So I have the entire list here in my phone or at least everything I could think of because I probably should have started writing this down a while ago, but I kind of just went over everything uh, last night. So let's start off with the maintenance. So the maintenance on this car is actually not as bad uh, as you might think it is when you're buying a car that costs over $100,000. So uh, maintenance is going to be oil changes, differential and transmission fluids, uh, the tires, the brakes, um, and I mean, just for regular maintenance, that's pretty much it. Uh, so oil changes in the past year doing about every four to 4,500 miles as it's recommended every 5,000 miles, um, I've done four oil changes. Now, none of these maintenance items that I'm going to give you have been done at a dealership. Uh, I've done them all through friends that are mechanics that work on cars, but that give me obviously better pricing. They're able to get uh, wholesale on parts and all that kind of stuff. So. Four oil changes on this car have costed me $80 each oil change, uh, which has added up to about $320. Uh, now the differential and transmission fluids, that's coming very soon. They recommend anywhere, the older models, they recommended something like every 20,000 miles. The newer ones, they recommended something like every 36,000 miles. I do have the newer transmission in my car. Um, and even I guess, they are recommending now for the older guys that you follow the new schedule. It's kind of confusing. Um, I don't do track driving on this car. It's strictly street and of course a little bit of spirited, but uh, I don't think I need to change it out that often. So I'm just going to stick with every 30,000 miles, which hasn't hit yet. So when it does, that's going to be a 12 to $1,400 job. So I guess you can consider that an every other year expense, not an every year expense. Uh, so I won't be adding that in yet. Now, brakes. I have done brakes. Uh, I went through a company here in Southern California that actually was doing like an end of summer blowout sale. So everything was actually pretty heavily discounted. Uh, so I got four DBA 5000 series rotors and four Hawk brake pads. Uh, so all four corners for about $1,400. Uh, it was $1,384 uh, plus installation, which I think was about 150 or 200 I don't remember. I think it was about 200 bucks uh, to go ahead and install all four, bleed of the lines, get the pads on, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so right there, that's $320 for the oil changes. The brakes was $1,384. Uh, the transmission and differential, I haven't done yet. Now let's talk about tires. Tires, everybody has told me you will burn through them every 10,000 miles. Now luckily, because I haven't hit any track events, and I've been, you know, treating this car a little nicely, uh, 
I haven't actually burned through them yet and I'm kind of close to the 15 or 16,000 mile mark now. However, they're going bald. I am, am going to include the price uh, in this total calculation because I'm actually getting them on uh, within one or two weeks. Uh, and within one or two weeks, it's actually the full uh, one year right so at the end of january so that's going to cost me one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars for all four michelin pipe michelin pilot sport 4s tires excuse me um and that is also discounted i have a friend that works at a dealership that is able to get me those uh at basically their wholesale price so it's a little bit lower than retail um, and then it's going to cost me a hundred dollars to install and realign the car so that's going to be one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars to install tires and realign the car so uh, and that's like I said I'm gonna do in about a week or two so now let's go ahead and go on to modifications so the car already had a few but I really wanted to add down pipes uh, I wanted less air restriction and then I also wanted to be able to tune it uh, to its maximum capacity for now before I get injectors and E85 and all that so I got down pipes used off of a forum for $500 uh, shipped right to me and then installed for about a hundred dollars if I remember correctly so that was six hundred dollars uh, for STM racing down pipes which is actually a really good price uh, so that was great the headlights is amazing so the new 2015 uh, lightning bolt style headlights uh, those go brand new two thousand seven hundred dollars uh, plus tax and all that other crap uh, i got them for one thousand eight hundred off of somebody who unfortunately totaled their 2016 gtr uh, but i mean it was an amazing deal for me and i still see them selling used for 25 to 26 hundred dollars so uh, again one thousand eight hundred is what i paid for them plus a hundred dollars of installation so one thousand nine hundred dollars total uh, for the headlights now, uh, I hit a couple potholes, I guess, or something a couple months back, and my alignment was pretty messed up. Uh, so I had to go get it aligned. That cost me $100 uh, through a shop down in uh, Orange County, California, uh, but they were able to get everything situated. So uh, $100 for alignment there that I paid a couple months back. Front lip, I bought a carbon fiber front lip uh, from a carbon fiber wholesaler that was selling a whole bunch of random parts. He happened to get a GTR front lip in. Uh, he really didn't know what the car was at all it was real carbon fiber it was branded uh and i got it for 150 dollars instead of like the 800 dollars retail price which is absolutely awesome so that plus a hundred dollar install means i got a carbon fiber front lip for 250 dollars put on my car for me uh, which is pretty awesome suspension springs so i added swift springs it's about a one or 1.5 inch lower uh, from stock height and stock height is just a little too bulky for me in fact the springs are still a little too bulky for me I really really want to go lower so I am getting coilovers soon but the springs themselves were $200 and installing them was another $200 so that's gonna be a $400 total to get uh, the car lowered a little bit Looks like security is checking on us to make sure we're not doing donuts up here. Um, so $400 total to get uh, the car a little bit lowered uh, on Swift Springs and it handles beautifully and it absorbs the bumps beautifully as well. So no problems there. Uh, now I needed the car to get tuned after I put on the downpipes and I really kind of wanted to get uh, extra ounces, you know, of power, of horsepower out of the car. So the tune with ECU Tech license uh, in doing a built-in boost controller and activating rolling launch for the car cost me six hundred and fifty dollars uh out the door which is pretty awesome so i got the whole thing tuned dyno and all that good stuff for about six hundred and fifty dollars not bad at all I'll, I'll take it any day insurance not bad at all six hundred and thirty one dollars for six month term which means it's only 105 bucks a month. And yes, that is full coverage. I have full coverage on all of my cars, but $105 a month at 23 years old to pay insurance on a Nissan GTR. That's amazing. Now keep in mind, it may be a little bit different for you, depending on the year you get. Mine is a 2010 and I have a perfect driving record. So I don't have any points on my license or anything like that. Um, and then before this, I actually owned an Infiniti Q50 Sport. So I've had other high item cars on my insurance before without any accidents so I basically I have a good history is what I'm saying uh, so I thank God I, I was actually able to import insurance and not bad at all I mean actually my insurance went down from when I traded out my Q50 for the GTR so 
whatever that is, uh, carbon fiber steering wheel piece. So I went ahead and purchased a, a little piece, actually the same person that sold me the headlights, uh, they had a carbon fiber insert for the steering wheel that I'll show you here. Um, beautiful little piece 150 bucks i think brand new is like 200 or 220 or something so it's not not a huge discount but i really wanted it because i hated that under silver that's under the uh that's like on the stock body on the interior of the cba gtrs it's terrible so i added that uh for 150 dollars. i bought a car cover an actual gtr branded car cover uh from nissan i think brand new is like three four hundred bucks i got it for 180 dollars on offer up in perfect condition from another gtr owner uh so that was pretty pretty cool <clears throat> so I didn't have to worry about that clear corner uh, lights in the front uh, you know a little bit better than that amberish yellow whatever ugly stock color that they had these are clear uh, and I have white LEDs in them to match with the lightning bolt uh, headlights when the lights are on so it, it looks a little bit better now here's the fun part I've told you everything maintenance insurance and modifications that I've done to the car now let me add everything up so you can see what you can expect to pay on a 2010 Nissan GTR for a year. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. I don't like looking at this because I probably could have spent my money elsewhere, but at the same time it's doing what I love, so here we are. Um, okay, so just a, a quick, quick recap. Oil changes, $320 for the year. Down pipes were $600. Headlights were $1,900. The alignment was $100. The front lip was $250. Springs were $400 installed. Tune was $650. Um, oh, and then one thing I forgot to mention was I had bought some fenders that didn't quite do what I wanted them to do. Uh, so I spent $100 uh, installing them and then uninstalling them. Uh, but luckily I got my money back like selling them anyway. So that kind of evened out, but basically just a hundred bucks lost there. The insurance was 631 times two, right? Cause it was every six months. So that's $1,262. Brakes, 1384. Steering wheel piece was 150. Car cover was 180. Clear corner lights was 100. And tires are 1350 for a grand total of $8,746, including a full year of insurance uh, for a 23-year-old on the Nissan GTR. So there you have it. I don't know if that would be worth it to you uh, to purchase a GTR. I really wasn't sure what it was going to cost me. I mean, it all kind of depends on what you're doing to it, how often you're driving it, and most importantly, how hard you're driving it. Because you can go through, I mean, you can burn the oil off of an oil change in 1,500 miles and burn the tires off uh, at a track event or two within six to 8,000 miles. So, I mean, you could literally be tripling the, the insurance, I mean, I'm sorry, the maintenance cost on this car, uh, depending on how you drive it. But overall, a little over $8,700 on calm driving and treating this car, uh, you know, just like a regular performance car, not going to track events or anything like that is what it costed me. So I'm definitely upwards of $10,000 yearly when I start tracking the car. So if that's in your budget, I would still 100% recommend picking one of these cars up. If it's not in your budget, make it in your budget so that you can get the chance to drive one of these cars so that's gonna be it for me I'm pretty much depressed for the day because I just figured out that I spent eight thousand seven hundred dollars over the past 12 months not even on the price of the car so that's fantastic uh, if you want to hear any other figures let me know I'm an open book I'll let you know exactly what I spent on the car I don't really care I mean I bought it because I love it and I still do so uh, any other questions let me know don't forget to like and subscribe and we're out